Okay, so we've had a look at modeling. Everything's really drawn up. So we're going to have a look at dropping stuff onto um, a sheet now. So sort of presentation side of Revit. So if you scroll down in your project browser, you'll see that um, sheets here. That we have one sheet set up. Um, we're not sure what size that is. So just ignore that one for now. I might delete that out of there. So if you right click on sheets and you click new sheet. And then we're going to see, we see that the title blocks that are loaded, it's got an AO there. So we want an A3. So what we're going to do is go in and load one. So in the Revit library, in the metric library, let's go to title box. And then double click A3. Okay, so A3 metric. So once that's loaded in, we can click on OK. And you'll see now that in your project browser under sheets, we have a new sheet unnamed. So F2, let's call that plan. Okay. So now what we're going to want to do is drag a drawing onto that. So while, you're, while that view is open, sc scroll your project browser up to ground floor and then just drag and drop it without clicking onto the page. Now you can see that it's giving me a preview of how big the pre the drawing is going to be on my page. And if I just click, click once, there it is, sitting on my page like that. So so I know now that when if I print that, that's what it's going to look like on an A3. Now whenever you drop a drawing on, you can just move it around quite freely. Um, however, if you wanted to actually edit the drawing and crop something out of it, you could right click and activate the view. <clears throat> now this is quite important. So what I've actually done is from the sheet, I'm actually now entered the drawing. So I can actually crop using my crop tools down here that we spoke about before. And say I wanted to crop that a lot smaller. So I could fit another drawing on my sheet. So I've cropped that. Once again, I'll right click and deactivate that view. And now I can move that drawing around wherever I want. This is giving me room to put another drawing onto my sheet. Now you can probably see that following this around as I move it is my view title here. Now the view title comes in like this by default. It gives you the name of the drawing and also the scale of the drawing. Usually what I like to do is just grab this dot and bring it under the name. And you, you can actually click on that title and move it a bit closer to the drawing, wherever you wish. And then once you move the drawing around, that title's going to go with it. So let's move that drawing to here, move the title out here a bit. And let's drop another drawing on this same sheet. So I'm going to grab the north elevation here. So drag and drop, and you can see how big it's going to be. And I'll just click that once. Um, so I can see this is what my elevation looks like. So I'm going to activate that view and sort of clean it up a bit. So let's right click, hide by category, oops, hide, hide by category, these level lines. Got my planning on there. Let's hide by element, this front wall, so I can see my house. Might hide this wall as well. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my shadows on as well, just to give that elevation a bit of depth. Once it, and maybe I'll change that scale of that drawing as well to 200. There we go. So I'll deactivate that view once again. I can move that around and it brings in my title here. So I'll just bring that dot in and I'll move, just move my drawing down. And then move my title over, line it up with that one there. So you can see that the title of the drawing is is actually what the title of the drawing is in the project browser. So if I change this to North ele Elevation, so you can rename things by pressing F2 or right clicking and saying rename, then it's actually updated on my title sheet as well. So that's one of the advantages of Revit.
Similarly, I can drag and drop in my 3D view here. So I'll move my elevation over a bit. Put my title back in. You can see 3D view 1. So we'll move the view into here. Just move the title over here. So as you can see now, I actually have three drawings. Activate this view. I'm going to turn off this crop box. So hide crop region. There we go. So I now have three views or three drawings sitting on that sheet. And we'll have a look in the next video at editing this title block down the bottom here. But just for now, that's how you set up a sheet. If you wanted to add another sheet, then you just follow that process again. New sheet, add in an A3, etc. Now if I expand this, it's going to show me what drawings I've actually got on my sheet. Okay.